Hi guys, it's Book Quest again. Today my mom will read you this book called Flood. And this is a book I enjoyed a lot. And if you read it under the cover, then you can imagine what it's like to be in a flood. Let's go, people! It had been raining for days. All this rain, said Biff. I wish it would stop. I'm taking Fluffy for a walk, said Mom. Who wants to come? Biff and Chip looked at her. Not us, they said. It's raining. In the end, Biff said he would go with Mom. They went into the park. It was not much fun in the rain. Look at Fluffy, said Mom. He can't help getting muddy. The ground is so wet and squelchy. Biff and Mom walked across the park. They wanted to cross the little bridge, but the stream had flooded. I've never seen, seen it this high, said Mom. Biff was excited. Oh, look, she said. The bridge is underwater. Biff began to wade across the bridge, but Mom called her back. It's not a good idea, said Mom. The stream is flowing really fast and you can't see the edge of it. What if you slipped in? If it goes on raining, the water will flood across the park, said Biff. Mom looked thoughtful. I hope the rain stops, she said. We don't want to flood to get as far as, as, our, as our house. The next morning, when Biff and Chip were at school, it was still raining. The children couldn't go out to play. Another wet playtime sighed Chip. I wish it would stop raining. So do I, sighed Mrs. May too. In the afternoon, it stopped raining. Hooray! Now we can play football, said Wolf. But there were still puddles on the field. I'm sorry, said Mrs. May. We can't play football today. The ground is too wet. That evening, Biff, Chip, and Kipper were watching television. The weather forecast came on. Some bad storms were coming with a lot more rain. No more rain, sighed Chip. The storm came in the middle of the night. The rain beat on the roof of the house and it, it lashed against the windows. It was so loud that Biff and Chip couldn't sleep. Mom brought them a hot drink. Poor Ploppy, said Biff. He hates this. In the morning, Dad took Ploppy for a walk. Chip went with him. When they got to the park, Chip gasped. The park was flooded. It was like a giant lake. Chip thought the floods were fun. Dad looked worried. I don't like the look of this, he said. We don't want the water to get as far as our house. Chip grinned at... Dad. It couldn't go that far, he said, could it? But it didn't stop raining, and the flood grew worse. The water reached the edge of the park. Then it began to creep up the road. It came through the fence and flooded the end of the garden. 
The road near Wolf and Wilma's house was flooded. The children watched the cars going through the flood. One car had broken down and was stuck in the middle. That day, the school was closed. The hall was flooded, and there was no heating. What were we going to do all day? Asked Wilf. I'm sorry, said Mrs. May. We can't open the school today. When the children got home, they saw a lorry in the street. It was loaded with sandbags. People were taking the sandbags to their houses. We need you all to help," said Mom. Beef and Chip helped to carry the sandbags. They were very heavy. Dad put them in front of the doors. I just hope the water doesn't come up this far," said Dad. Mom looked upset. The floods may get worse," she said. "So there's only one thing to do." She picked up a picked up a chair. "We'll have to take things upstairs," said Mom. They all began to carry things upstairs. It was hard work, and Kipper began to get worried. What will happen if the water floods into my bedroom? He asked. Don't worry, said Biff. It won't. Some things were too big and heavy to carry upstairs. What shall we do with the sofa? Said Mom. Asked Dad. Mom had a good idea. She got a folding table. We can put the sofa up on this, she said. It rained in the night. Dad couldn't sleep. He was too worried about the flood. Then he heard the sound of water. He went downstairs and looked. Oh no! The flood water had come in. Everyone woke up. The lights didn't work, so Mom lit a lamp. They all looked downstairs. The hall was full of water. This is terrible," said Chip. "Lots of houses must be flooded." The next day, Biff, Chip, and Kipper looked out of the window. The whole street was flooded. I can't believe it. Said Kipper, "It looks like a river." It's amazing," said Biff. A man paddled past in a canoe. It looked funny to see a canoe in the street. The man shouted up to them, "Are you all right?" He asked. "Yes, thank you," Chip called back. But we wish the flood would go away. Some fire officers came to the street. They wore big, long boots. Can we take you to somewhere warm and dry? Asked the fire officer. Yes, please," said Mom. "I don't think we can stay here." The fire officers brought a dinghy to the front door. Everyone got in. Dad carried Fluffy. I never thought we'd sail up our street in the in a boat," said Chip. Wolf and Wilma were in their house. They were looking out of the window. Biff, Chip, and Kipper waved at them. "You can come and rescue us next," called Wilma. A cat was stuck on a fence. 
the fire officer stopped the dinghy. Dad rescued it and gave it to Mom. Pluffy looked at the cat, but he didn't even bark. He's being a good dog, said Kipper. They went to a hall in the town. A lot of people were there. Wolf and Wilma came in with their mom and dad. Beef showed Wilma the rescued cat. Poor little thing, said Wilma. We may have to stay here tonight, said Wolf. We can't go back home to sleep. Kipper was upset. There were too many people in the hall. He didn't want to sleep there. I want to go home, he said. Later in the day, Gran came to the hall. You can all stay with me until the flood goes down, she said. The children were pleased. It will be fun staying with Gran, said Kipper. Thank you, Gran. When the floods were over, they went back home. They gasped when they saw the house. The floors were covered in mud. What a mess, said Kipper. I hate it. Never mind, said Dad. Bad things like this happen sometimes. He gave the children a big hug. Then he gave them some mops and brooms. And what's more important than all this mud? We are, said Mom. Well, 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 that is it for today. Flood, it just keeps on raining and raining. The stream overflows and the park is flooded. What will happen if the rain doesn't stop? Ah, there's water. Ah.